What am I doing? Okay, yeah. <laughs> What's happening? Okay, I'm regrouping. I'm still making friends with this cord. I'm not sure what to do with it. I just keep... What's happening? Okay, there. <laughs> um, so I am going to do a piece um, that is also newer. Um, this one is... I wrote it in um, February, March of this year. Like I mentioned last year, I wrote three new spoken word pieces. So I don't write a ton of new spoken word, typically. Um, and so this piece I wrote, I wrote this piece alongside of a talk that I was working on that I was going to be giving at my meditation group in Missoula. Um, my home meditation group were called Be Here Now. And uh, we meet on Monday nights at the Open Way Mindfulness Center. So if you're in Missoula on a Monday night and you like to meditate, come sit with us. We'd love to have you. We're a free and open and friendly group. <laughs> and so I was working on this... Um, this teaching style talk that I was giving in March or April. And alongside of that, so I was working on this talk and I was working on this piece separately, but <laughs> as is the case, you know, uh, since they were working on, I was working on them at the same time, they wound up blending really well together. And I was like, hmm, maybe after I give this, this uh, hour long teaching style meditation talk, maybe I'll do the spoken word piece. And I was like, is that too weird? Uh, you know, like, that's really changing up the energy. I'm like, okay, everyone, listen to this talk for an hour. I'm going to talk really calmly, and then I'm going to do this. <laughs> so, hold on. So, so I thought about it. I'm like, is that? And I was like, no, yeah, I'm going to do that. So I gave the talk, and then I, I ended it with this spoken word piece. But that's the only, other, that's the only time it's been done in front of people, um, this particular piece. Um, but I think it paired, it paired really well um, together. It wound up being a good, I think, uh, <laughs> uh, <coughs> companion to the talk. So um, <clears throat> this piece is called Direction for the People. Sweet people, please listen. Now is the time to get out of your own way. Stop holding yourself back, reducing your worth as though you were somehow not enough. Now is the time to stay claiming the powers invested and bestowed to you. The powers you've unintentionally unacquainted yourself with like ease and joy and unencumbered kindness. There is no merit in hiding in the tiny box of self. Emerge just as you are, without footnotes indicating where the exceptions, carefully constructed excuses and exclusions lie. Now is the time to unglue yourself from your own pockets of thought where self is all that matters. Now is the time to bust open wide your heart and your mind to include all beings both near and far away. Continue to care well for yourself, yes. But do not stop there. Tend to the matters of your dwelling place only so much that it propels you to spread love to others. Now is the time when individualism must give way to the collective. We are being called to action and we do not and cannot exist by ourselves alone. Be invested in the lives of your people. Show up to their parties and gatherings. Keep track of their birthdays and text them when the time comes that you're happy they were born. What are you waiting for? For Pete's sake, life is short. It's the people, your people that matter most. Make the effort as though there were no other time than right now to connect. How is it that we are equipped with such intelligence and yet remain so incredibly dumb when it comes to relationships? <laughs> We keep ourselves at bay, then wonder why we feel disconnected as though we're the job of others to satiate our undisclosed needs. Reach out to your people. Say hello, tell them you love them. In this day and age, it'll take you two seconds. <laughs> Ask them how they are and be sure you really want to know. Self-absorption is the rampant plague of our time. Do whatever it takes to look up and away from your own so-called busy life and out into the world that scares you. The level in which you extend yourself from a sense of genuine caring for others determines your quality of life more than anything else. 
you have the power to make someone else's day brighter by reaching out. Do it. Someone right now is waiting for you. So um, I have a I have a new website, um, which is inmindfulmotion.com, and you can find all my links of podcast and blog and. Um, the album is on there and everything um, and there's a tab that's called word of mouth and that piece is on there right now um, written out if you're interested in checking it out I plan on updating that word of mouth tab once a week and putting a new piece up there of something or other <laughs> um, I also want to just talk a little bit about that piece um, because when I was working on it, it was also during a time when um, my husband Mike and I, we attended a funeral in February. Um, and this was a funeral for um, an acquaintance of mine and a long-term childhood friend of Mike's um, who committed suicide. And he was a couple years younger than, than we are. And um, at his funeral, um, his dad shared some lovely words. And at the end of his sharing, he... Um, had sort of what I consider sort of a call to action. And he said, if you have a loved one that you want to do something with, he said, do it. And he really emphasized, like I did in that piece, those words, do it. And he paused, and um, then he said, you know, you just never know when it'll be the last time you see somebody. Um, and I just, that really stuck with me. It really resonated with me. And, um, and so I just... Um, that, that, that has been a call to action for me, too, you know, to, to, to reach out to people more, to uh, extend love, to make sure that people know I love them. And, um, so I want to share that because it's important. Um, 